Lawmakers and law enforcement can't agree on a new state proposal to eliminate handgun carry permits. As that proposal now sits in limbo, CBS4 State House reporter Kristen Eskow spoke to lawmakers still looking to move that bill forward. It's been a, a, a long and twisted road only in the last 36 hours or so. An uncertain future for a proposal to eliminate handgun carry permits for law-abiding Hoosiers. Okay. The bill was amended significantly in a Senate committee Wednesday night, keeping the permit system in place. Then it died due to a procedural issue. Now lawmakers plan to add the proposal to a different bill, giving supporters hope. All we have to do is send it to the floor and give it a vote. Let, let, let senators vote their conscience. Opponents of the idea say they hope to see Indiana preserve the permit process. The community doesn't support this. We just need our, law, our legislators to listen to their constituents. Republican leaders believe the proposal will still be heard on the floors of the Senate and the House this session. That's despite an impassioned plea from Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter for lawmakers to drop the proposal. During his testimony this week, Carter criticized Republican lawmakers. But this is the problem with the supermajority. It stifles, prohibits, and oftentimes limits public debate. Carter's comments drew pushback from Republicans and praise from Democrats. I have a tremendous amount of respect for him. Um, I uh, was uh, a little frustrated with that comment. I was disappointed in those comments. Um, uh, and um, the, I, they don't reflect. We've had plenty of, this has been, as you guys all know, we've had countless hours of committee hearings on this subject. Countless hours. This so-called carry, permitless carry, it's against law enforcement. Let's be real about it. From the Indiana State House, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you. I